Yeah, you worried about me? It'll be okay, Johnny Cash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vintage neighbors, welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey, and today we're testing out a vintage gadget. Yay! So I'm so excited to show you and test this out. Today we are testing the Lady Remington Electric Shaver. Let's take a look. So I found this on eBay. I paid with shipping included, it was about $23 for this, and it it looks like it's brand new in the box. So, and it even has the original price tag on it. So this razor was sold from at Gibson's, and it was $12.67. So in today's dollars, that would be like $126, $130. That seems like kind of a lot for a razor to me. But I don't know, maybe it's awesome. From what I've been able to find, this razor is from 1960. I'm really excited because this is like complete with pretty much everything in the box. So let's look. Okay, it's got the little user manual. It's got our warranty. Let's see, we've got these little like tissue things, tissue pads that say Lady Remington. This is a little, a little pamphlet for ordering other products from Remington. Looks like mostly men's stuff. Here is the container. It's really cute. Look at that on the top, so cute. The bottom says Remington Rand, made in USA. So let's see, to open, press the buttons, okay. Fun. So at the top here, it has the cord. <laughs> it has this little tiny thing of powder. Shaving powder stick. And it looks like, so then there's the power cord and a little, this is the little brush to clean it. Let's push the other button. Ah, that's fun. Okay, so here is the actual razor. It's very cute, has a little, I love the turquoise, has a little starburst on it. It has, so it has two different settings, for one for legs and one for arms. The roller thing moves up when you switch it to arms. And then here on the side is the on off switch. And right here it says, a gentle reminder to the lady who never reads the instruction book. I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was a man thing. Not reading the instructions. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't come for me. <laughs> to get the gentlest, most comfortable grooming from your new Lady Remington shaver, make certain panel is adjusted to arms before grooming underarms, legs before grooming legs. Please just this once read the brief instructions in the enclosed booklet before using your Lady Remington. Okay, we'll read the instruction booklet. Your new adjustable Lady Remington is the most advanced, the most effective lady shaver in the world. Bold, okay. It has been specifically designed to solve feminine problems of good grooming. It adjusts for underarm comfort. Your new Lady Remington is so kind to your skin even sensitive underarm skin that you can use deodorants immediately after shaving without any discomfort. It adjusts for satin smooth legs, 
Does an immaculate job, leaves legs satin smooth, effective as a razor, yet without a razor, nicks and cuts. Okay, so it's supposed to be as effective as a razor. We will see. So it looks like I had a plastic piece that was over top of the shaver, but this doesn't, I don't think mine has that actually. It's like a clear plastic cap that goes over it. And shaving your legs, put it on legs, shave your arms, set the combs to arms. Got it. The above adjustment of the roller combs, a suggested setting will be ideal for many. However, some may desire position between high and low. So maybe you set one to arms and one to legs, I guess. It's talking about how to clean it. Take it apart and clean it. And the little brush that it comes with. Okay. So we have cleaned and sanitized this razor already. My husband helped me take it apart, sanitized it. No worries there. It's totally clean and safe. Definitely don't want to use an old used razor without totally sanitizing it first. So rest assured, we have done that. <laughs> don't worry. This video is sponsored by Harry's. So let's head into the pink bathroom, talk about our sponsor, and then we will test out this gadget. I have always bought razors from the drugstore and I've never really found a good quality one that is affordable and that didn't irritate my skin. Harry's is a personal care brand reinventing the way you shave. So Harry's sent me their starter set and that includes a weighted handle with a rubber grip, five blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, and a travel blade cover. I love the quality of Harry's the razor gave. Seriously, the closest, smoothest shave I've ever had. And usually when I get a new razor, it's harsh on my skin. I end up with razor burn or I end up cutting myself. Not the case with this one. Harry manufactures their blades at their factory in Germany. And that factory has been making blades for over a hundred years. Refills are sent to your door on your schedule and they just came out with their sharpest blades ever and didn't raise the price. Refills still start at $2. The deal Harry's has on their trial set is pretty amazing. You'll get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. So you can redeem your trial set for only $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Lacey Faye. Okay, I'm ready to test this gadget. So in the instructions, it says, be sure that your skin is perfectly dry. The area to be shaved should be free from moisture. An application of Remington shaving powder stick is ideal for drying the skin. I don't feel great about using that powder. So, but my skin is dry. So we're gonna go with that. I'm not gonna use that powder. I mean, it doesn't smell bad or anything, but I don't feel great about it. So we're not gonna do that. Let us plug in the razor. The razor is plugged in. First, I'm going to shave my armpit. <laughs> so I'm gonna change it to arms. Okay, it is on arms. Here's the on off switch. <sighs> okay, here we go. I'm slightly concerned. I mean, I don't think it's gonna cut me or anything. Electric razors don't really do that, but I'm afraid it might pull my, my hairs. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it for science. It'll be okay. Double check our instructions. Set the roller combs. It's on arms. Both sides are on arms. Okay. And both heads resting against the skin. Shave with short, even strokes. A small area at a time. Let's do this. That was painless. I mean, it felt like literally nothing, just like I was just touching this to my arm is all, and it shaved my hairs. <laughs> I mean, that's really all you can ask for, right? I mean, that did a pretty dang good job. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Okay, so. It passed the armpit test. My armpit feels fine. It doesn't feel like razor burned or anything like, like that. So now let's test it out on my leg.
found a wonderful ad for this razor and we really must watch it together because it is priceless. So yeah, let's take a look at this ad that I found for this exact razor. Objection overruled. Witness may proceed. It was a smooth move, all right. And if I had my way, I'd do it all over again. I had to have that Lady Remington, the only lady shaver that adjusts separately. Down to the smoother, well-groomed legs. Up for underarms. With a special switch to turn it on and off. The only lady shaver that grooms this closely. Yet never nicks, cuts, or scratches. We were meant for each other. Only a shaver with roller combs keeps skin so smooth. So I said to Joe, Joe, get me one. He said, it's not your birthday. I said, Joe, I'm getting a Lady Remington. Obviously, I got one. Ladies, ladies. Guilty? Yes, I'm guilty. But since when are beautiful smooth legs against the law? Haste dismissed. There's so much going on here. I I love it. It's hilarious. So this just goes to show that I think the show Mad Men was very accurate when they're depicting, first of all, men writing all of the ads. Second of all, they were drinking most of the day. <laughs> this ad cracked me up. I had to show you guys because, wow. <laughs> it's just great. Okay, we are back for the final thoughts on the Lady Remington. So I was pleasantly surprised. It did great on my arm. Very good. It was a good close shave. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt afterwards. It didn't feel like razor burn or anything like that. No bumps. Two thumbs up for the arm. For my leg, it did work. However, the claim that it shaves as close as a razor, false. <laughs> false, because I shaved my right leg with the Harry's, and then I shaved my left leg with the Lady Remington, and there was a real big difference in the two. Like, it was passable if, it, if you were just like getting ready to leave and you're like, oh no, I didn't shave my legs, hurry and you didn't like want to get in the shower and get it wet or anything or like get in the tub, then yeah, it would totally work for that. But as far as having super smooth freezer shave, no. But it did work. So let's give it a rating. Aesthetic. How does it look? Is it pleasing to the eye? Does it like look cute for the era? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna give that one probably like a 4.5 out of five. It's very cute. I love the packaging for it. It's like kind of gadgety itself with the push button, like the spin, the handiness of the case and like keeping it all compact and nice in there. I like that a lot. The razor itself is really cute. I like the design on it. It has a little starburst, it's turquoise, very cute. And then the roller blades are gold. Like it has the gold accents on it. I really like that. So aesthetically, it, it gets a yes from me. It's really, really cute. Like mid-century flair. I like it. Efficiency and the claims. Like, did it do what it said it was going to do? Um, kind of. I'll, I'll give it like a four. Maybe like a 3.75. <laughs> because it did shave. It worked. It did really well on my arm. Like I said, as close as a razor, no, it didn't do that. So got a minus points for that, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it did great. Would I purchase it at that price? <sighs> I mean, that's kind of expensive for the time, I feel like. All 67 in 1960 is, you know, it's over $100 now. So, I mean, I don't know, that's kind of steep. Like even really nice, like men's electric razors with all the different um, detachable heads and stuff. I feel like they're around about $80 or so, 80 to 100. So I guess if it fell into that kind of more luxury category, then maybe, or maybe if it was my birthday. <laughs> 
So I'm not mad about the $23 I spent on it. I think it's totally worth that. I'm excited to have it in my collection of vintage gadgets. And I probably will continue to use it, especially on my underarms. I think it's great. Thanks again to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, the link will be in the description. You can go to harrys.com and get your trial set for $3 using my code. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vintage gadget episode. It was a fun one. And leave me some ideas in the comments. If you know of any vintage gadgets you want me to test out, I would love to hear from you. I have a whole vintage gadgets playlist. I will link it for you in the I am below if you wanna check out more of my vintage gadget series. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I would love to have you stick around our vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. And I hope that you are safe and well and feeling loved wherever you are in the world. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.